Jo Coleman and I'm the Senior Project Manager for AC36. My name's Carmen White, I am the Event and Activations Manager. My name's Anika Forsman, I'm the Marketing Communications Manager. My name's Brad Pivak, I'm the Event Activation Lead. As you can imagine, uh, the America's Cup is quite a unique event. Prior to event time you have to get all the planning done because an event, no matter what size, needs a permit. Trying to permit an event like this that is not contained, that doesn't have set days and times, that doesn't have ticketed numbers, that could be raced on course A or E, or, or you might start racing and then stop, or you might not race at all. There are so many variables in this event that you have to work with as much certainty in a very uncertain environment. From procurement to logistics, to traffic management, to security, across event and activations planning, which involves event management production companies, right through to uh, working with uh, independent operators who might have face painters or superheroes. We also make sure that we're engaging our stakeholders, whether that's the local Wynyard Quarter residents and businesses, through to MB, Tourism New Zealand, Auckland Unlimited and more. Auckland Unlimited gets involved in mega events like this um, and in particular in my area around the activations um, and the Summon Over program because we look at how we can share the benefit of Auckland hosting this mega event rather than just focusing on the city centre and the viaduct where the racing will be is how do we actually share that benefit. It was an opportunity for us to work with third party event organisers to come up with funding opportunities and marketing support for events across the region. There's activities like a big screen and family friendly activities going on, showcasing what the local schools have to offer, the local businesses, and that way we also then manage the crowds and the safety element as well. Normally for an event you have one operations centre and one of the very unusual arrangements for this event is that we have four. We have the major event operations centre which is city side, which is what we lead. You have the on water operations centre, which is for the racing on the water, led by America's Cup events and the on-site operations centre, which is in the village, in charge of the on-land, and then you have Auckland Transport Operations Centre, which is looking at the event and the wider network. So it's a really unusual environment to be operating out of, and yeah, it's been challenging, but also we've got such a massive footprint so you need them. While this is the America's Cup and it's all about sailors on the boat, what else can we do to sort of promote Auckland as a destination so that we can sort of showcase our culture, our food, our great shopping? What AC36 means for Auckland from a tourism perspective is such a unique event on land and on water. You get to showcase the best of everything as opposed to a confined stadium. The fact that we've been able to showcase Auckland and New Zealand globally at the moment has been a pretty sort of special opportunity. Millions and millions of people are tuning in worldwide and they're seeing beautiful shots of Auckland's Hauraki Golf, people enjoying the race village and also just the vibrancy that the city has got going. When our borders do open up again, they'll be able to come back, know that Auckland is a great, and New Zealand is a great destination, and they'll come and travel again when we can have them. The amount of feedback that we've got from offshore, people watching the coverage and seeing beautiful Auckland and happy Kiwis, and just, it gives them a little bit of hope that this too will pass for them. Working at America's Cup is amazing. I get to work with some really clever and long-standing event professionals. A lot of them have a background in council and events um, across commercials, right through to agencies. So I think as long as you are really customer focused and customer friendly, and you understand what your North Star is and your deliverables, working on an event like this is really rewarding and fulfilling. As long as you can uh, give up some of your weekends and really love working with people, and bringing vibrancy and energy to an event like this is the place for you. We've got an incredible team that we work with. It's a very small team. One thing that a lot of people don't know about major events is I may be the activations lead and responsible for that sort of area, but one day I could be out there helping our marketing and comms team. I could be out putting out fencing and scrim. You really do anything and it's really important that you are surrounded by a good team that is willing to chip in and, and do whatever it takes and we're very fortunate in that aspect.